Oh wait, I didn't record my breakfast again, man. I'm so stupid. I literally charged my phone this morning, especially to show you all the breakfast which I've just eaten. I've not long woken up. I've just had four Weetabix. You can see the bowl there. If you confuse those two spoons, the other spoon was just to put a little bit of sugar on top of the Weetabix. They weren't dry. Anyway, welcome to the video. I'm sorry I was so stupid and forgot to record 10 minutes earlier. But anyway, as you've seen, I've just eaten breakfast. Now I'm just chilling down here with Cookie. And I've actually got something to show you all this morning because I've had a little delivery cup. Alright, so this is actually a little package from Gymshark. For those of you that have been watching my videos, you'll know there's a certain piece of equipment I haven't had. It's nothing too fancy. Don't get your hopes too high on this package. I've never owned one of these personally myself. I've just been using my sister's one, so I thought it was time to get my own. I'm not actually sure, though, how good this is going to be and if it's going to be exactly what I needed. As we can see, the Gymshark logo, the first ever thing I've bought from Gymshark. Quite nice packaging, to be fair. God, it even comes with its own little bag. You see that? So if you can't tell by the bag, you can't really see the shape of it, we have got a resistance band. It's supposed to be a quite big one, so that it can, I can basically have someone hold it, probably my dad, or whoever I'm training with on the day, like one of my mates, one of my teammates. Oh, it's what I wanted, to be fair. This will work very well. I don't know how well you can see me, because I don't have the little flick up thing on top of it um yeah it's got the gymshark branding and yeah basically it will allow me to like i'll have it around like my waist and then obviously it won't be in front so i'll be standing behind holding it for resistance and i'll just be driving running and then i can do other things with it i can do some pre-activation stuff with it tie it up against the sofa chairs and stuff like that so hopefully this will be a good little buy uh, had team training yesterday yeah I've had my boots in the airing cupboard, under the radiator, on the radiator, all different spots to try and dry them. Because they're absolutely soaking wet and they just haven't dried a single bit. I had team training yesterday, basically. It was really good. It's one of my last sessions with college. It might even have been my last session. But um, it was just absolutely pouring it down the whole time. Like torrential rain, it was terrible. And um, my boots are still soaked. You little know there's nothing worse than training in a wet, soggy pair of boots. But that's what we're about to do. I'm just getting ready now to go down to the field. So I'll catch you once we get down there. All right, so I've just got down to the field and I did not realise how windy it was. Bloody hell. So for those of you that watched my last video, it was a little coming back video from just over a week off where my injury on my knee basically like popped up again i aggravated it again now i know that session went fine team training went fine but i'm still not an idiot i'm not going to rush back into really intense training so we're down here i'm going to have a little bit of fun with the ball for the first 20 minutes and then we're going to do a couple of dribbling drills
JF run it back. session wrapped up nice and simple drills we've all seen before on the channel i love to do them but as i said i didn't want to do too much because of my knee i went at a good pace but i just kind of feel really sluggish today you are going to get those sessions. honestly my legs right now feel a little bit like sandbags I've literally got no energy need to go home and get some lunch but as i say not every session is going to be perfect i just had to drag myself for a bit more mentally to keep the standard up that i expected for myself i'm going to get in a quick little five ten minute cool down and then we'll go home not long arrived at home i've just grabbed myself a couple of little snacks i've just eaten a, a strawberry protein yogurt and i had a little bag of crisps just because i'm trying to eat something quick to give me a bit of energy because i'm about to take a cookie out to meet my mum from work to give me a bit of that extra energy as well i've just made myself a protein shake it's about two and a half three scoops i put a little bit extra in because obviously i'm still sort of trying to recover and make sure nothing goes wrong with my knee or any other part of my body so i'm trying to get as much protein in as possible i'm at home just thought i'd update you on the little snacks i've had on my protein shake I need to get going, I'll speak to you in a bit. All right, so I've been at home for a little while now to give you a little bit more of an update. I've basically just been having a couple problems with my last video that went up on Wednesday. I wanted to get it on Tuesday for you, as you know, because my community posts, but there was a problem with the editing. There was a little editing mistake in there. So I had to re-upload it, re-render it, all that stuff, and I couldn't get it up in time to put it on Tuesday. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go watch it. It was the last episode, the last video on the channel. We're about to do a workout. So tonight, England are playing. My dad finished work late, so unfortunately he can't drop me to the gym, but I do have something coming in a couple's videos time, which is going to mean that that won't happen too often in the future and that I can get a good session done. But for now, I've got my pull-up bar, I've got my dumbbells, I'm just going to do some pull-ups and press-ups 
some stuff with the dumbbells and stuff like that in my room upstairs so yeah all the video is done now it's up ready to go for posted tomorrow so now we can get on with this session let's do it JF run it back That is the full workout complete. I also did do some push-ups. It's just a bit awkward to get the push-ups on camera, really. You lot know from my past videos, my room is really small. My family are all downstairs watching TV, so we had to do it in here, and I just couldn't really set up a good camera angle that was worth showing. I did four sets of 15 push-ups. How many is that all together? 60 push-ups, I think. But before we end the video, I just wanted to go back on my last video, which was the mobility one. Obviously, I said... My last video would have been the Road to Pro, but obviously that's not uploaded yet. So at the time you're watching this, the mobility walkthrough won't be the last one, but for me right now it is. So I just wanted to go through the comments and thank you all for the support as usual. We'll go sort by newest first and scroll down to the bottom. There wasn't too many comments on this video. So thank you to Burke, B09 Dre, my bro. Serge, what a legend. Fan man, thank you. JRJ and Riley. Theo, Sportster Steve, legend. Carl, Tom Price, and yeah. Thank you, boys, for the comments. It really does mean a lot. You know how much I love your support. It's really, really sick. Unfortunately, there wasn't too many of you guys commenting on the last one. The video didn't get too many views. Let me check what it's on now. But is it a whole day? It hasn't even hit 100 views. That is stinky. It's got 85 views in a day. That is terrible. <laughs> so if you haven't watched the video, I think I plugged it earlier on, but it's the 20 minute full mobility stretching routine. So I basically put together a mobility routine. It's a walkthrough video. Literally play it on your TV, on your phone. Just copy what I do. There's a timer on the screen. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Just find a small space where you can do them stretches. It would honestly help me out so much if you guys actually use this because it shows you're enjoying my content and you're enjoying my work. I put so much time into these videos and that video especially. It's not that I overly mind it didn't get too many comments because I know you're all behind me. I know you all support me. But this one would mean a lot because this video took a while to do. But anyways, guys, that is the full day done. We're going to be slowly getting ramping up the sessions back to how it was a few weeks ago getting in three four maybe even five sessions a day obviously i'm slowly ramping it up because of the knee i don't want to jump straight back in on my fully on my fully intense schedule my hand is shaking ever so slightly by the way i'm so sorry <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna end the video here be sure to come follow me on instagram TikTok, all that good stuff. I'm uploading on there consistently too. Before I go, YouTube says that you will enjoy this video. It's recommended for you personally. So click it, watch it, and let me know if they were right. Peace.